Hey, welcome to another Proven Sales Letter Breakdown video. This is the 91st session, and today I have something that's pretty out of the ordinary, let's say. Uh, it is a direct mail piece, once again, but it's for a subscription to Psychology Today, uh, like a wide circulation journal in psychology. But the way how the copywriter did it, it's really interesting, okay? Because they used a test inside the sales letter itself. The letter itself is super short, but uh, uh, all this thing that he's done, you know, it increases engagement so, so much. And that's why within just a few short years, uh, this publication went from like zero to uh, more than 600,000 paying customers, okay? Just with a direct response promotion like this. So this was written by Bill Jamie, and uh, I got this uh, letter from uh, Brian Kurtz. Uh, and I, I immediately thought that it's interesting, not just because I also have a background in psychology and I, I remember when Psychology Today, you know, was this, uh, uh, this publication that many psychologists have been, uh, were reading. Uh, but uh, now that I better understand the copywriting and the marketing aspects of it, uh, it's, it's going to be fun to revisit it. So I just wanted to share these thoughts with you as well. This is not going to be such a long video, but... Uh, I think there's a lot of lessons that we can learn here, a lot of timeless direct response marketing insights and fundamentals and principles. Uh, and it's a great example of how whenever you can get people to spend more time with you or to do something for you, especially in an ad, they're much more likely to convert later on. So uh, the envelope, this one has actually many, many things. It has uh, the envelope, it has some inserts as well, it has the, the reply, uh, envelope that's uh, included in, in, in the main envelope so that you make it easy for people to actually send it back because like remember this was before internet days or there might have been an internet but it was so clunky to order stuff online uh, so it's it, it was a much more reliable way to get people to order like this and then you also have a reply card that's included here this is kind of like the order form the order card and then you have the sales letter itself which is like one page two pages which are made up of, of, of the test itself three yeah so basically like uh, four pages plus a few other things here um, and that's it that's it but it still worked incredibly well so let's just see what's happening here but before we do that if you're enjoying these types of videos make sure to like comment share you know all that good st stuff uh, and also if you're new to the channel then do consider subscribing because I'm covering these videos daily nowadays so the envelope itself is super um, super interesting because it says do you close the bathroom door even when you're the only one at home? Hmm, what an interesting headline, right? Do you close the bathroom door even when you're the only one at home? And the reason why I think this works is because uh, it definitely gets people's juices flowing. It gets them feeling like, wow, I never, never, nobody's asked me this before, or I never even asked myself this before. Uh, do I? Do I do it? Do I close the bathroom? Why does it matter? Am I, am I, like, do I need a psychologist if I do? Do I need a psychologist if I don't? What's happening here? So that's, that's what makes them open the whole thing here. And then we have this uh, very, I don't know, I don't even know, like 80s or 90s looking um, like graphical style here. Uh, I don't really know the, the, the art direction of this graphical style, but if you know, then definitely leave a comment below. Let me know, I'm interested. Uh, but this is where, uh, like there's a few other things included, as I said, the, the reply envelope, the order form, um, and this little thingy here that's all about you, the opulent one. Um, the one thing that's interesting about this promotion is that um, it uses a specific type of language uh, aimed at people in those in that time period who are interested in psychology and they're more likely a little bit spiritual a little bit more they like these types of the the concept of like knowing them uh, or 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 the concept of self development itself 
uh, wasn't really that widespread as today, right? And uh, it had a huge um, curiosity appeal to it and like a huge value proposition to just, hey, uh, we have some experts who will help you get to know yourself better or, or, or discover stuff about you that nobody's ever told you before. So that's the main, uh, the main interesting uh, hook here. Uh, but then let's just jump into the sales letter itself, okay? And let's see what's happening here. So it says, dear probationer, and I, I'm honestly not sure why it says dear probationer, uh, but uh, it starts with an interesting story. So all in all, this is kind of like a, uh, a direct type of, of lead or an offer lead, you know, we're giving them the, the we, we're mentioning the product very early on, but since the sales page is so short, we can even make the distinction of, of this being a story lead because um, instead of just saying, hey, this publication is so nice, you know, you're going to learn about psychology. How cool is that? Instead, it starts with a very specific story that illustrates the point. So the story goes like this. Dear probationer, it happened to a friend who's a teller in a bank on New York's Lower East Side. So we have like a, the set the stage part. The woman in the black babushka <laughs> approached his window her smile radiating gold teeth and presented the savings passbook only slightly less worn than her face. Notice the details, the explicit details that uh, make this thing credible. She wanted to withdraw $20. Our friend counted out two tenths, but the woman pushed the bills back. It's not my money, she said. My money is $5 size. Experienced at meeting all kinds, our friend grasped the situation immediately. He replaced the two tens with four fives and the woman went happily on her way. To her, a bank is a place where they put your money in a drawer. When you want it, they give it back. Since she has always deposited fives, those tens belong to somebody else. And the point of the story is this. You never really know what's inside people's heads until you have occasion to dig around. So, interesting story, right? Uh, we're we're transitioning to the offer to the to mentioning psychology uh, today very shortly, but uh, it's way way more effective to grasp people's attention with a with the counterintuitive weird type of story. So there's this little weirdness to it, but that has a point, and the point is that you know. Uh, People are weird and everybody has their own mental representations and everybody has their own mental image of the world inside, right? And the only way to discover this is to, um, is to uh, find, a, find an, an occasion or an opportunity to dig inside people's heads. And remember, this idea was very, very interesting to the target audience at that time. It probably still is, but today, uh, as I've seen, you know, most psychology type of marketing messaging uh, highlights more specific results. Like it's not just get to know yourself better or dig around your head or something like that, but instead of like how to uh, optimize your work-life balance or how to, um, I don't know, be more stoic so so that you know you can you can resist the stresses of day-to-day -day life and not get wound up because of those. So stuff like that. So then the latter continues. We publish Psychology Today, which is all about people's heads, and we'd like to send you a complimentary copy. But before you do, notice the open loop there, but before we do, we'd like permission to dig around a bit in your head, to find out what sort of person you are, to get some idea of whether our magazine is a journal you'll really enjoy. So notice how instead of like giving people the pitch immediately, uh, this letter, and this is the, the, the uniqueness of this letter, uh, it's, it's not just a passive type of communication. It's not just like we're telling people something and they can read it, but instead we're making them work. We're making them complete a test. And who can resist a test like this? Most people can't, especially if they're reading this. It means that they're interested in self-development or like getting to know themselves better. And there's also a lot of curiosity uh, when it comes to all these quizzes and tests. Like just think about the BuzzFeed type of, of, of quiz funnels. They're all intentionally uh, various quizzes so that people complete them. They can't resist reading the, uh, the uh, results. And then they also submit their email list to either get the result or to get an additional uh, resource that's related to the, to the result itself. So 
I love, and this is really, really creative stuff, and that's why I wanted to show you this. Uh, the copy itself, it's fine. I mean, it's not like, uh, I don't know, uh, Gene Schwartz type of copy or something like that, but uh, or Gary Halbert level, but uh, it says the right things at the right time. And by using this text, uh, this test, you're, you're really making people uh, self-qualify a bit more and work a bit more and spend more time on this, which all leads to more conversions. So uh, it says, and so on, on the next two pages, you'll find the short psychological quiz. On the last page, you'll get the interpretation. Got a moment now? Feel in the mood? Don't mind? Uh, then take up the enclosed pencil and go. So the enclosed pencil, that's also such an advanced marketing strategy. Think about it. We're talking about direct mail here, right? And uh, if you include a three-dimensional di object in the envelope itself, like a pencil, it gets attention. It's not like some generic marketing message, but it's like, oh, something is in this mail. Like, what can it be? So people are much more likely to open it, uh, especially combined with the great... Um, the great envelope copy. Do you close the bathroom door even when you're the only one at home? Um, so, and, and this also shows you how you don't want to make people work for it. I mean, you do want to make them work for something because that qualifies them more, just like with the quiz, but you don't want to make this complicated. You want to make the work itself as easy as possible in most cases. And that's why they've included the pencil as well. So, uh, so that people don't have the objection of, you know, I don't have a pencil right lying around at the moment, so I'm just going to do this later, which we all know that it means that they're never going to do it. So the quiz itself says, from the editors of Psychology Today, a compatibility test to help determine whether you'll find our magazine a bore or a boon. So first of all, people are self-qualified. Think about how powerful this is. Even if you ask a potential client, for example, in a consulting situation, like three questions, it's already super powerful because people are self-qualifying. Uh, but they're selling, like this makes them work so that they can sell themselves on the Psychology Today subscription. It's really advanced. And all the questions usually here, uh, I, I guess, you know, they were specifically designed by the copywriter, Bill Jamie, um, to uh, be interesting, but to also, let's just say, skew the results a little bit. Uh, so there are some very basic looking questions here, like, do you ever go to the movies alone? Uh, male or female, have you ever changed your hair color? Do you turn your dinner plate so the meat faces you? <laughs> All these things, they create incredible curiosity. Do you often tell jokes at parties? Uh, do you habitually tip bartenders? So all these things, I would say 80% of these questions don't matter at all, okay? So they're just there to add curiosity and make it seem like the test is very comprehensive. But in reality, there are probably like four questions in there that really relate to whether uh, the the, tar the reader really qualifies for this or not, okay? The rest is just there as, as filler. But it's still very important because uh, they spend more time here. And then they start thinking, oh, I wonder about that. Uh, do I, do I, uh, what was this question here? Um, like with the steak one, I don't know which one was it, but like, do you ask other people's children to call you by your first name? Hmm, I don't know, do I? So what does that mean? If I ask, does that mean that, you know, I'm like this or I'm like that? Uh, so it's very, very powerful, very appealing. And then at the end of the quiz itself, uh, it says end of the quiz. Now turn the page to see what's been learned about you. So again, a little bit of, uh, hey, this is what you should do next. It's a micro commitment as well. Like think about how many micro commitments people done at this point. Like, yes, yes, yes. They take this, these so many times. And if they take this, they're much more likely to take the order card as well, right? Uh, and they feel like they've gotten a lot of value as well. So interpretation. Generally, the more questions you answered with yes, the more you'll find, the more you'll like psychology today. What you've learned is that you are somewhat adventurous, changing hair color, religious affliction. Uh, you're concerned about what others think, altering handwriting, doing your own grift rap, tipping bartenders. These are all just examples of specific questions inside there. But notice how 
you know, this is this says you are somewhat more adventurous and you're concerned what others think. Well, geez, most people are. They do consider themselves adventurous, even they even if they're boring as hell. Like they're like, oh, I want to be adventurous. I consider myself adventurous. So yes, I qualify for this. It might seem a very very subtle thing, but it's very powerful, believe me. And I, I studied this because I have a degree in psychology as well. It's very, very nicely done and implemented here. And it's just like, if you think about it, it's just like um, astrology or, or, or horoscopes or stuff like that. Like there's no real scientific proof behind these things. Obviously, there are certain uh, like... Uh, results and 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 some papers that uh, try to decipher these things but let's be honest here like uh there's no real peer-reviewed uh meta study and scientifically validated peer-reviewed study that really confirms these things it's all in our heads right and uh, whenever someone in astrology says like a prediction or like uh, analyzes someone based on their star signs or something uh they always say very, very genuine, very uh, general stuff. They say like, you're a good person who in the previous life was, I don't know, uh, a royalty or something like that. Oh, wow, that's exciting. My life is so boring right now. But uh, I always knew that I, I, I was a descendant of royalty or something like this, right? It's there just like cold reading. It's like cold reading in which you basically mirror back the stuff to people and you're always saying stuff that stuff that self qualifies them and you cannot really go wrong with it right <coughs> like if you say i don't know oh you are you're a good person and you have a big heart well most people consider themselves a good person even if they're not actually so uh the other the other big like reveal here you're highly considerate of others writing to your account number folding up your theater seat blah 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 your practical in short, you're a person who's highly self-aware and that's good. So again, most people do, cons and most people, especially in our target audience who this is aimed at, they do consider themselves highly self-aware. That's the reason why they would probably be interested in psychology today in the first place. Uh, so, and then it says, moreover, the fact that you allowed yourself to be tested shows that you're interested in learning more about yourself and that... And that's what psychology today is all about, as you'll discover from leafing through the enclosed folder. So the enclosed folder, some various other stuff uh, that relate to the publication itself. But notice how people have self-qualified themselves. And at this point, you didn't, I mean, the copywriter himself, Bill Jamie, he didn't really have to do any selling at all, if you think about it. It was all done by the, uh, the prospect, by the target audience here, the ideal customer avatar. It's crazy if you think about it. So then we have a little, let's just say like what the product is, a little USP type of thing, which qualifies people as well. It says a monthly magazine that's written for laymen as well as the professionals in psychology. A magazine that's a triumph of graphics because apparently graphics are important to this target audience. Maybe they're more artistic type of, 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 of people. Um, a magazine that's as fascinating to read as the palm of your hand. And a magazine that can tell you more about yourself than the conversation uh, when you've just left the room. So uh, again, the main value proposition here, the main promise is that you'll uh, get to know yourself better and others will get to know you better as well. Um, it's powerful. It's definitely powerful. Uh, but the copy itself... I'm not really that crazy about it. Again, who am I to critique this copywriter? I, I honestly don't really know of any other Bill Jamie um, promotion personally, but uh, if it was sent by Brian Kurtz, it has to be good. And it, this has to have sold many, many uh, copies of Psychology Today. Uh, but just like you can see, it's not about like words missing or or using all these power words and, 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 and making your copy super uh, emotionally charged. Now, don't get me wrong, that's important in most cases, but uh, it's more like what the target audience wants to hear and then you give it to them. And it's also very important, like what's the list quality, like who are the people who this goes out to, what's the offer, uh, what's the big idea in the sales page. And in this, part, this case, I think the big idea is this quiz here. So that, you know, we hook people with the story and then we say, hey, don't you want to discover something about yourself? So then we 
already get to the end of the sales page here, our test already shows that you have a commendable sense of thrift wanting to save the plant. Uh, and our offer is made to order. Just drop the enclosed card in the mail and you'll get back uh, for your critical appraisal a complimentary copy of the current issue. You'll also be reserving the option to buy it at half price. Psychology Today is a dollar co a copy. $12 a year when bought on newsstands or by regular subscription. We'll bill you for only six. And if you don't like the first issue, just write cancel across the bill and we're even Steven. You don't owe us money and the sam sample issue is yours to keep. So um, I'm not totally crazy about the copy itself. I think if this was a little bit longer, uh, probably it would do better, especially nowadays. Like there are a few still, um, I don't know, urgency that's missing, a few objections that haven't been um, answered yet, a price anchor is missing, uh, maybe some proof is missing here. Uh, because it's an interesting idea and it obviously sold well, but I think nowadays you would have to work a little bit harder for this. And then sometimes the copy is confusing, at least to me. And it's weird because I do consider myself the target audience for this, but I definitely don't understand this last last quote. And why did they have to put it here? It says, oh, that you could turn your eyes towards the naves of your necks and make but an interior survey of your good selves. Said Shakespeare, uh, o Menelius, that thou wert alive now that we might send you a complimentary copy. What insights, what sapiens, what soul. So this is a great example of maybe make your copy more clear rather than clever, because this is clever copy. Like, oh, I get it. This is a, a Shakespeare quote. And then just like this person, Menelius, uh, said in the Shakespeare quote, you know, it's good to like get to know yourself better. Uh, how delighted would he be to like receive a complimentary copy of Psychology Today? I get it. It's 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 cute, but I don't know. I, I think it loses some people. Something like, hey, if you order this, you also get a fast action bonus would probably be a little bit more powerful here or like more powerful call to action text. Again, I don't know the specifics of this promotion at that level. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is my uh, personal opinion based on breaking down 90 other sales letters at this point. So this could definitely be improved in this regard. Uh, but yeah, the big idea is still super strong here. And maybe this was enough for this target audience. And then we also have like this type of insert here, you know, why you love, hate, laugh, cry, hope, worry, play, work. So again, we get a mention, we get basically uh, an explanation of the unique mechanism behind this thing. And the whole unique mechanism is that the unique mechanism of the problem is that, you know, uh, it's not going to do us much good to understand the nature of the physical universe unless we unravel the nature of man. Government, the national leadership, has never put its mind to this. It is run by lawyers, economists, sociologists, businessmen, and soldiers. Psychologists are an afterthought. So the problem, the unique mechanism of the problem, it's no wonder you don't know yourself uh, like at a deeper level because our country, our whole society is run by people who don't care about these things. So the unique mechanism of the solution is to uh, create this product called Psychology Today, which basically gathers the best experts of all time, uh, answering questions like, um, like uh, why we love, why we hate, why we laugh, why we cry, hope, worry, play, work, and liberated. Like, how can we get liberated? Uh, and, uh, and and all this good stuff. And like we gather all the best insights from people like, and I do remember some of these people from uh, my psychology education, like Eric Fromm, Jean Piaget, uh, Jose Delago, um, Warren Bennis. So people who in some areas know you better than you know yourself. For a few of the recent assessments of you, lift this fold quickly now. So this is probably there to like get lifted and then they get more uh, information in this one. I don't know. It would be nice to have this physically in a physical copy to see how, how it worked. But this is the main sales letter part itself. And I just wanted to show you to show uh, <coughs> that you can be uh, creative. You can include a quiz and quiz funnels still work really, really, really well. And then uh, like a f another interesting insert and notice how the graphics, the art direction itself is very, very specific. I don't even know how you call this uh, this uh, thing. It's some type of postmodernist type of, of art, but 
maybe this is like uh, uh, a potential uh, issue of psychology today here, but I immediately spotted some fascinations here. And if you've been watching this channel, you know about uh, fascinations before. So it says, there's no other magazine that tells you so much about you so authoritatively, so entertainingly, so frankly. So there you have the USP, the unique selling proposition. Among other recent revelations, this sets up the fascinations, and then we have a list of fascinations. For example, how our moral development helps determine the level you'll put, you'll pull when you enter the voting booth. Okay, interesting. Uh, how you can cause your child to be mean just by expecting them to be mean. Oh, I don't want my child to, to, to be mean, so how can I approach, how can I avoid that? How pregnancy and birth complications play an important role in determining whether a child develops schizophrenia. Oh, wow, I definitely don't want my child to develop schizophrenia, so uh, I want to read that if you're in the target audience. And notice how this is probably aimed at women first and then um, guys. So there was a point somewhere in the copyright, I don't remember exactly where, where we were qualifying people and it said women and men. So it said women first because like even to this day, uh, the majority of people interested in these types of things are women. Psychology Today, and then after the bullets, after the fascinations, uh, it basically says Psychology Today is a new, uh, a bare four years of age. Uh, but already 600,000 women and men, oh yeah, here was it, women and men pleasure themselves with each issue. It's got graphics that give a guy goose flesh. Again, it's cute. I'm not exactly sure, maybe the target audience like this, but for me, like I, I, the last thing I get from these is goose flesh. It's written in clear English, well, that's important. And whether you style in a Volkswagen bus, a penthouse, or make-believe Tudor, you'll find that our magazine lets in the light. So come look, come see, come open your eyes. You've only yourself to discover. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not really crazy about this copy. I get it. It's tried to, um, to qualify people here. Uh, but I think a master A-list copywriter uh, could probably make a better version of this today. Uh, again, maybe I'm wrong, but this is my, this is my uh, opinion here. So then we have another like, type of order. To get your complimentary copy to reserve a subscription at half price, use postpaid order form enclosed or fill out this coupon and mail. So yeah, the, the main offer here is uh, that you can get it for half price and there's also a money back guarantee. And some bonuses could have been nice uh, if they added them. I think it would have made uh, this more powerful. So if like a more traditional type of Magalog had been created, and maybe there was eventually uh, regarding psychology today. I think that was more effective. Um, something that, you know, I broke down a few examples of those, like from Carlene Angley Cole, Kim Karazi Schwam, David Deutsch, Paris Lampropoulos, Clayton Makepeace. You know, you're gonna find the link uh, below this video in the description section. Go check it out now because there's tons of other great copywriting resources there. So yeah, that's it for this one. It's a little bit different, but I still love the big idea here. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this, uh, about the copy, about the quiz itself, about the idea. Uh, and let's get the conversation started. So if you like the video, then definitely leave a like as well for YouTube's algorithm, subscribe to the channel or more, maybe share this with others if, if they are also interested in something like this. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.